Friday night. Feeling right. Yes, Friday night. Great night here on Naked Night because right now, we can out there, they'll be all us next. Late night show that's unlike any other. Music, the comedy, fun, and a lot of jokes and uh, the crazy interview with us tonight. Or by this morning, depending on the uh, time it is. Probably a uh, little more. Anyway, this time, he has Emmanuel Gaffey and Fabrice Wolf, aka Rocky Bolt, and that's right. Hey! Fabrice! What else do we have for Rise by on this uh, Friday night? Coming right after week 9 update is the Real Time Fan Dub Show. That's right folks, we're going to do fan dubs in real time. I'm going to be very excited. I'm about to go red the most. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh! Oh! And for the dads out there. That's right, for the dads. Surfing Muddy Beans! I know. Weird, right? But we got it! Look at night! He got it for you! Don't leave! This is exactly what the doctor ordered. A funny late night show that, let's be honest, is the only late night show that you need in this day and age. That's right. We can all stay with Ellie Moore. That's right. Do I need to say anything else? No. Just roll the titles, will you? Thank you. From the YouTube Dojo. The place that Scott Cawthon wished that he had uh, made when he made Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a week now up there with Ellie Mueller. And now, a man who is uh, ready to give uh, Scott Cawthon some uh, great advice, Mr. Ellie Gunny Mueller! Ha! Welcome to week now update. I am Ellie Gunny Mueller. It's over guard's office. <laughs> yes! <coughs> Alright. Baby Lamp Creations, Diamond Dark Emmy, and Fabrice Hall, check out Rocky Bowl 10, made the previews, the theme song, and the bumpers. So. Give him some love, will ya? Let me show him some love. Now, tonight's shout out winners are Specs by Canvas Band Edits, Emmanuel Gabby with his singing covers, Rebecca K. on that test, like Swagger World X on GTVA Studios with uh, streams and Reddit stories. Don't forget to exclamation mark with the game show uh, tributes and things like that. And for Brisa Walsh, aka Rocky Bolt, and with uh, random stuff. And he, uh, a lot, he and Emmanuel Gaffey helped me out uh, with. It's something very, very special in uh, the Hall of Wonders, which we're going to see later on in this program. And, also, Fabrice Roche uh, gave me uh, a great idea for uh, tonight's uh, program. And speaking of which, what's up? What's up with Scott Cawthon? A man who has a lot of things to do. He is very busy, but he has recently been through some failures. His Friday Night at Freddy's movie has failed to become a thing. Ouch! People have gone nuts! I mean, if, uh, if a video game can't become a movie, then what else can we do? I mean, seriously, this is getting old now. Now, he has given away a lot of money. Zelda-thon, dedicated to, what else, Legends of Zelda, you know, got $25,000 from him. He should always be kind, that's true, but he should stay calm too. I mean, I don't really know if it's right for you to uh, throw out uh, how much money you've given away to charity. I mean, that doesn't seem right at all. You know, and speak. Moving away from that, listen to this. He made video games for everyone so that he can show us how scary some things can be. Okay, enough. Because sometimes some people can uh, get uh, too afraid of, uh, of basically everything, including their own shadows. And to be quite honest with you, <laughs> I don't really know if that is a good idea. But I do know what's a good idea. 
I'll tell you what, it is a good idea. A little something from our uh, container. Let's see what's going on now, huh? Okay, once again, it's time for us to see what the container has to say. Here we go. Okay, so Scott Cawthon was responsible for making the Five Nights at Freddy's game pop. The same game that has scared millions and millions of people. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave that to everybody else, alright? Okay. That was pretty entertaining. <laughs> By the way, uh, for most of you folks uh, out there, you know, Sunday is Father's Day. Alright? So make sure you give your uh, dad some love. And also, you know what? Uh, don't be afraid. You know, to give uh, your dad uh, all the love that he deserves, alright? You did that for uh, your mom's on Mother's Day, why not do the same thing for dad? Huh? I'm on now. Anyway, MP has something called the Top 8 list. Let's see what tonight's uh, category is and whatever. Okay, now. What is tonight's category MP? Tonight's category Top 8 New Scott Cawthon Games. Number 8, The Skunk Pit. Number 7, Pinning Time. Number 6, Rockin' Mud. Number 5, Broken Eggs. Number 4, Flop Away. Number 3, The Rock Bits. Number 2, Hairy Trees. And number 1, Frozen Leaves. I know, this list is weird. Thanks, MP. We'll be right back with a little something we like to call the Hall of Wonders. And also coming up some talking time. You're watching Week in the Update. Now here it is, your Vibe of Night. The clothes are gone. What the heck is going on? Guys, I'm not ready for this. Guys, what is happening? I Empire Carpets, right? On the TV. I thought I recognized you. You know, we've been thinking about carpeting. Can you guys really deliver in three or four days? We sure can. Just tell us where. Three or four days? That's all it takes for Empire. With polyfoam padding, installation, and all? Listen, if we couldn't do it, we sure wouldn't want to talk about it so much. Is it really good stuff, that Empire? That I can promise you. Well, it's all the top brand names, you know. As a matter of fact, I've got Empire in my own home. Anybody get credit? Well, almost anybody, Charlie. And you don't have to make an installment payment for, for 60, 60 days. days. Yeah. Say, my wife sure would love to have one of those Bissell rug shampoos. Did you know you can't buy those things in the store? The only way you can get a shampoo is to buy two rooms of carpeting from Empire. And then it's free. Well, you know, for two cents, I'd call Empire. I'll tell you what, here's 20 cents right here. Why don't you call? 588-2300? That's the number. Hey, what about your bill here? He'll take care of it. 588-2300, Empire! <laughs> Scott and the boys! Ed, how are you doing tonight? I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? This is a big one. We are about to debut something brand new on this program. You're right. You are absolutely right. Thank you for uh, keeping me informed. And thank you for reminding everybody. Listen, what you're about to see now is something brand new. It's about the Hall of Wonders. It stars yours truly, Emmanuel Gaffey, and Fabrice Lowe, Shake A, Rocky Vault 10. Now, the three of us had to uh, work on uh, had to work on the sketch, you know, uh, with no additional uh, help whatsoever because, you know, things have been happening behind the scenes lately and we had to uh, work expeditiously and uh, quickly. <coughs> but here it is. 
It's the Hall of Wonders, Episode 1. Here we go, and, and we hope that you enjoy it. Roll it! Disclaimer, this program is just a mere parody of the classic E program, Talk Soup. Please don't sue us. Our bosses don't have enough money. This program also contains a second degree humor style, so please don't take any jokes about tonight's topic too seriously. With that being said, please enjoy the show. What you're about to see is something completely new and random. <clears throat> sure, it may not be what Joe Crowder was, but for now, this is the best we can do. Hey, here's an icebreaker. Look at all those birds fly. You do know that we could fly too, right? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! From Nickelodeon Studios, Nick at Night proudly presents The Hall of Wonders. And now a man who once developed a game that Scott cost on, Dave Aladdin. Greetings, my fellow audience. My name is Dave Aladdin, and I welcome you to The Hall of Wonders. We're going to look at some legends, objects, and other things that might make people wonder. This morning, we'll have a discussion about Scott Cotton. He's a rather popular game developer, and he's very kind. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Aladdin. Are you talking about the same guy who made the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise? Absolutely, Mr. Tables. By the way, Mr. Tables is the owner of the Yall of Wonders, if you're wondering who he is. Anyway, let's look at these photos and see how great Scott Coffin is. Hmm. It says here that Scott gave away a lot of money to various organizations. He even gave away $25,000 to Zelda Thon. I didn't know that he could just tell everyone about how kind and charitable he is without any issues. Here's the thing though. You're supposed to give from your heart, not from your wallet. So, Scott is okay, but he was acting a little too greedy. I don't think that you can call that greedy. I mean, we are getting some information from Reddit this morning. How'd you get there, Mr. Passion? I just came over from the set of Joke Chowder. Well, you're just in time to help us talk about this Five Nights at Freddy's movie. But here's a fun fact regarding Scott Coffin and his care towards hell children. The game Freddy in Space 2 was dedicated to a kid who was severely ill, and he got the help of the game theorists to raise $1.33 million on a 9 hour stream to benefit St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Wow, that's actually surprising to see that you can live stream for charity. Best miracles can happen. That surely is an incredible story, Mr. Aladdin. Why, thank you for that, Mr. Tables. I have seen him being compared with another game developer I won't mention because of some issues. But at least... But we at least... But we at least have proof that Scott is someone who greatly cares about him. Alright, we should let Dave Patch share his thoughts about the upcoming movie by Blumhouse Productions. Said Freddy's movie has led the phrase of production to hell. So many rejected screen movies, and that was quite a mess. What can we do? All nobody can surely tell. All I know is that all fans watching hope it will turn out nice. Good work, sir. Your poetry has always made me smile. Thank you. I tried my best, especially with all the information the Nick at Night directors gave us. Well, that's why everyone loves you on Nick at Night. Thank you, sir. The filming will turn out well. Hey, how did you come up with the game Five Nights at Freddy's? I doubt the audience watching this knows about its origins. Well, that is the question that our bonus drawing will answer. It's 
Scott said that Finance of Freddy's began as something to let everyone know that everyone's afraid of something. He's right. We are all... We are all afraid of something. Of course, not everyone would decide to get over a fear by creating a video game. I'll say, that's a pretty crazy story. As crazy as it was, it's also true. So I guess you can say that he's bolder than any superhero on Disney. <laughs> Facts. Not gonna lie, I was even surprised when I learned people at IGN were afraid of beavers. Yeah, they even said that beavers looking like animatronic dolls. But Scott said... Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Um, joke's on you. The real spirit haunting a new franchise is now the beaver. Wait, he actually said that? <laughs> Yes, he did. He did say that as a joke in his interview back in August of 2018. Yo, that's actually a nice joke from Carthon himself. And possibly a good way of showing that he can show them what's really scary. Oh, yes, absolutely. Hang on. The security guards are coming in. Does that mean that we need to run before we get taken away? Exactly. That's, that's it for the Hall of Wonders. Sleep well. See you next week. The museum is now closed. This has been the Hall of Wonders. Now we will return to week and update Scott Carson Spectacular. Then stay tuned for whatever else we can find on such short notice. It's all still to come on Nick at Night. Actually, Scott Coffin made that pair of shoes too. The Hall of Wonders was built at Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, at Universal Studios Florida. Exciting, folks. <clears throat> now, that was also pretty entertaining. You know, well, I hope that you folks uh, enjoy. Uh, oh, I mean, I hope that you folks have enjoyed the inaugural uh, installment of the Hall of Wonders. Because until uh, you get everything uh, back in order, you know, uh, that's going to be uh, exactly what we're going to do on this program every Friday from now on. So. Until, uh, you know, things get, uh, a lot better and Diamond uh, Kami comes back. Then we'll figure out what to do, uh, then. Anyway, here's, uh, some talking time. Let's talk about it. Let's go, huh? Let's talk about it. Now. For those of you who don't know, Scott Cawthon is responsible for making the Five Nights at Freddy's game, right? Well, <clears throat> he uh, recently came up with the idea of a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And sadly, it is not going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, of course, uh, the whole movie is going to be what's supposed to be like this. You know, you see, you know, it's supposed to be a group of, uh, supposed to be about a group of teenage uh, troublemakers who break into a Freddy's uh, chaos, I mean, who break into a uh, Freddy's, you know, the place. You know, and everything uh, got uh, weirder as time moved on. You know, we're talking, you know, our plushies taking over Manhattan. You know, like Charlie and his friends are sneaking to uh, Freddy's after hours to retrieve a lost toy. You know, there are so many different uh, screenplays, you know, for one uh, movie. And 
for one reason or another, they all got the shaft. You know, well, actually, not all of them got the other shaft. The mic screenplay, excuse me, uh, turned out to be uh, all right. You know, you know, but we don't really know for sure if the movie is going to uh, take place or not. So we're going to figure it out. Wait a minute. So, so we're going to wait and see what happens from here on out, okay? We're going to wait and see what happens then. In the meantime, Scott Cawthon, you know what? Now this was interesting, right? Someone uh, posted a question about how much money has Scott donated to charity. Now, this is something that you're not supposed to do uh, when you're a big time celebrity. Or anybody, really. You know, if you, uh, if you help someone out, you know, just help someone out. You know, you don't need uh, the praise or things like that. But someone had the nerve to, uh, to post all the, uh, post all the uh, charities that Scott has donated money to, including Zeltaton for $25,000. And St. Jude's Hospital, to which he gave away $19,780. I know. Crazy, but... What can you do? What can you do? Meanwhile, here is, uh, we know about the reason why Five Night at Freddy's came to be. Alright. You know, when uh, he uh, had gone through uh, so many uh, weird uh, things, you know, talking about the uh, you know, stuff, you know, being frustrated and everything else. He decided to make a video game about uh, all of his uh, experiences. You know, and he called it Five Night at Freddy's. Now, here's what's uh, interesting, alright? You know, he made uh, a family friendly game prior to that, you know, about Beaver. But everybody criticized it online because uh, people thought that the main character looked uh, looked uh, scared. And so uh, he said, okay, let's see how I can make Five Nights at Freddy's work. And he uh, tried to make it so that way uh, all the kids can uh, see how uh, scary some things can be. Really, Scott, you may be a good person in some ways, but wow, that is just plain insane. But, that is it for another installment of Week Now Update. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. And thank you so much to everybody who uh, helped me make this uh, episode, you know, uh, amazing. You know, please stay tuned for the ending experiments. Please enjoy your Father's Day and everything else. And I'll see you back here on Monday. Alright, that's the news. I'm Alex Keys. Farewell, bye, farewell. Something random, something goofy, something insane, something spoofy? I don't know if that makes any sense, but here we go. Attention! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the ending experiments. This is not a drill. You know what to do. And now, for a naked night, slash naked, slash week night update exclusive, I mean, uh, week night update slash naked night exclusive, we present to you an interview with the pillow. Mr. Pillow, thank you so much for joining us uh, for this uh, odd installment of Week Now Update. How are you feeling? Thank you so much for having me. You know, I feel like, you know, uh, a cloud after has been jumped on 15 times. Now, I understand that uh, many heads have slept on you. How does it feel? And I'm glad you uh, asked me a question because I gotta tell you something. You know, I feel uh, a little silly after uh, being slept on by many people. You know, not only uh, by uh, everybody's heads, but also uh, by somebody's hands. 
and feet and brave you were uh, by parts that I don't want to share with you. I don't want to share with you right now, okay? I see, are there any exercises that you are doing in order to uh, prevent yourself from, uh, from being smushed or uh, things like that? Uh, it's hard for me to really do any exercises because I'm a pillow. I see. Sorry, sorry about asking. Now, one final note. Do you think that people uh, be willing to, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, keep you uh, in a museum or would you rather be stuck in Just let me be in my bed, okay? You know, I'm serious, okay? Pillows belong in beds, okay? If you want to go to a museum, then expect some drawings. Does that make sense? Okay, we're done here. Alright, well thank you so much for your time, Mr. Pillow. I appreciate it. And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the recipe and the experiments. Thank you so much for being here. You take it easy, alright? It's a perfect place to hear the music play. Karaoke. Karaoke. You can sing a song or dance the night away. Karaoke. Karaoke. Everything is okay, dokey at the karaoke cafe. Scott Cawthon. I'll tell you something. You know, I never imagined that uh, we would talk about a gaming developer on this program, but hey, there's a first time for everything, and I gotta thank uh, one of one of our uh, not ready for late night players Fabrice Wolf to get Rocky Bowl 10 for uh, suggesting uh, that idea to, uh, to me and everybody else, alright it's really uh, it's really really good Thank you so much. All right. I said it. So, here we go. The rest of the end of the experiments. Wasn't that grand? Facts. So, Scott Cawthon didn't uh, get the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, movie deal off the ground. Oh, well. Hey. <laughs> On the bright side, at least he can uh, save uh, some money to make a Five Nights at Freddy's TV show. Hey, there's always that, right? So what do we learn? We learn that, you know, uh, Scott Cawthon uh, is still a successful uh, person, even though uh, he had a, had a huge uh, mistake or a huge blunder in his uh, path. And we also learn that, you know, uh, if something new uh, that you're doing uh, seems to uh, be uh, going up and down, that means that it's going to be uh, done uh, many, many, many more times before we finally get it right. That's it. I think we did all right. I don't know about you folks, but I think we're doing all right. Thank you so much for watching. Here it is, your musical performance time. And now, jazzing your stress away, it's the musical performance time. It's time once again for musical performance time. This time, we present to you an original musical composition by yours truly. Enjoy.
Television.